Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play, where I'm playing Basilia on Toons Total War mod, it's Total War Rome 2. Uh, we got Mysteries of Eleusis, held in the late summer, in the winter. Great. Hellenic cultural influence all regions, public order all regions, that's something we need. Great. That is awesome. So we got our uh, Hellenistic polis, Hamlet, here. Um, contributing factor is difficulty level. Yeah. Devastation only minus one. So yeah. Uh, in that first turn, we repaired all the buildings and now we're building up, I think. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It does that. We get plus 6.2% Hellenistic for the next turn. Uh, Latin is going down, Celtic is... Celtic is going down. Uh, did I say this was episode 7? This is episode 7. These guys offered us peace in the... Uh, after we ended the turn, we said no. Sabotage, incite unrest, agent wounded, 3%. That is a risk I want to take. Spend my money. Ah, you're found. Sophie survived, very good one. So let's see how we're doing here. We cannot secure a promotion because of the money. That is a lot of stuff. We get uh, plus two percent research rate again. We get uh, plus ten percent tax rate. Uh, public order doesn't change. Cultural influence doesn't change. So the only thing that changes is that we get more tax rate if we do that. Um, I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, we can move our fleet. God, the trade fleet. It's trading and stuff. Why haven't we... City. There we go. Uh, city. And... I think that's enough. City. And then we can go... Follow the coastline south. Because there aren't many... Many coastal cities... Down this way. There might be one there. We should add ah, glasswork. See? Glasswork, 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 glasswork. All the all over the place. They want that research rate increase. We can make a a dignitary next turn, so let's not spend too much money. Um, we're not gonna upgrade our army either. But I think we're gonna move it out to Tolosa. 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 So yeah, uh, using the forced march from one city to another is not uh, dangerous at all. It simply means that... Oh shit, hang on. Uh, it simply means that your army just gets there faster. You, you do not get an ambush inside a city, luckily. Not that I've seen, anyway. These guys are recruiting like crazy. They have a lot of infantry units and four archers. How's our range? We have four archers. Ours are upgraded, but still. And we have one Peltist, or one Nikolitae heavy Niko... Oh, Nikayan heavy Peltist. So, uh, I'm thinking we'll just kind of end the turn again. I'll see you on the other side. All right, we got our tax labor, finally. So that was eight turns of waiting. Let's make a dignitary in our capital province. Uh, no? Oh, I thought we got this. We got this. So we get more money from agriculture, more wealth from subsistence. That's awesome. Uh, and... 
agricultural buildings cost less. Uh, if you're kind of new to the game, I probably should have said this earlier. Uh, when you make upgrades in one settlement, it benefits the entire province. So if you have, say, uh, this in Telosa, plus 10% health on ship hulls upon recruitment, it benefits the ships that come out of Massilia. Uh, likewise, if I make an agent in Tolosa, that gets that plus one experience. Right? I don't know if the uh, Poseidon level 2 ship holes stack. I really, really doubt it. Because you get a certain thing. You don't get it doesn't really just say plus 10% health upon recruitment. It says level 2 ship hulls upon recruitment. So that is also a, a, a big thing to remember when you calculate your stuffs. More wealth from industry and slaves or just more industry. I wouldn't mind doing this. Um, the plus 2% land unit recruitment cost because I'm not going to recruit land units in this province at all. So when you uh, when you specialize your province it is important to uh, to consider these things. Uh, when you when you make your buildings know uh, what kind of buildings you want in this province and know like what what you need. What you need is what you get. Shout I so this is going to be a research and uh, and food province because we have our uh, maybe we might have glassworks here, right? We should. Oh, I really forgot to turn off my phone. That's that's huge. Uh, it doesn't really look like we have glassworks. Let's go for the sabotage and just look at it. Glassware, yes. There are glasswares in this province. They don't have any troops whatsoever in there. But that doesn't matter because these guys do. Uh, I'm not going to spend any more money with you right now, so let's just make a establish a spy network. I don't know how local it is. Uh, I haven't really had the time to check it out. Uh, it might mean that it's only in the settlement, or that's only in this province, or that is only around a certain area around her. I haven't really researched that much into it. Our uh, culture should still be rising by quite a lot, so we, yeah, 5.6, so we should really, really, yeah, we, we don't really care too much about that at this point uh, but we do want our money and we do want our uh, public order and we do want research so I mean this could be good I mean the, those four Hellenic influence are great but the food also is good this one is an example of something that I would not want in this province. Plus one experience ranks for spear recruits. That is a really good benefit, but it doesn't benefit this province. It would be good if this settlement was in this province, but it's not. Right? So we can go for the public order and research rate, I think. Uh, that's gonna, that's gonna take a little bit from our food stores at the higher levels but I think that we can survive that at the moment. Let's see how much benefits we get. 5 growth, 20% unit replenishment. Okay. So I was mistaken when I said 25%. Just remember. Uh, this could also be a great thing in this province. Plus 10% wealth from industry. Public order. Security against authoritarian agent actions. Which basically means um, heroes, I think. But the plus 5% wealth generated from slaves is also not bad. 
if we had slaves. They have all died off, apparently. Do we have any here? Yeah. Uh, should say something about the decline, though. How much does this... Okay, 25.8. So let's remember that. Uh, we don't have any slaves in this province, so it doesn't matter. Apparently. We had 7% or something. But now we have 25.8 in the in Massilia. I'm not going to say that province again. Alright, let's go for the research rate, I think. Uh, it's either that or the, the free food. But I think the research rate is going to benefit us more at a later stage. It really, it really helps to get it going. Uh, I kind of want this. But I also... I, I don't want that, though. I want this. And then we need architectural advances. That is crazy far away. That is not going to happen. So let's just go for the stone quarry. Uh, we get... Five gold. No, we're not going to upgrade that. Not anytime soon. We have nothing to upgrade here. We could upgrade this, but not until we get money for it. And then we can actually take the, uh, the Shrine of Ares to get that experience rank for our Spear Recruits. This is commerce, this is substance, it's not commerce. It's good to know. This is agriculture, this is nothing. And this is nothing, and this is culture. Okay, so we have... It's kind of rounded out. Uh, but we, if we wanted anything, it would be from substance or from commerce, I guess. But we don't want that in this province. We want the Shrine of Ares. We are going to worship the War God. So let's see, we're at plus 11. That, means, uh, that basically means we can take out our, uh, our army now and actually do something to Mehedla. Med, med, Medlan, Medl, Medl. You gotta taste the word. Uh, let's see. We have provisional instability is gonna go down six from military presence, five from characters. So that means eleven. Exactly eleven. So that that just means we can force march our way over here again. No unrest. Out here, plus three. Plus three? Ah, uh, yeah, the character is still in the province. So, uh, we're going to end the turn, and then this is going to be at plus one when the character leaves the province, because the character gives plus three, if I am not mistaken. Yes. And the, uh, the provincial instability is going to go down, slaves is going to go down eventually, cultural differences is going to go down. So we're good in this province, unless we're, <laughs> we're attacked, of course. Then we're not good. Uh, he can not reach this army. That's good to know. If he could, I would probably place my army some somewhere like here. Just so he couldn't go through there. Because th they cannot go through this red circle without actually attacking me. Without focusing one of the armies. Uh, but I don't know if he could go through just to get to him. I need to know that, actually. So, yeah, uh, we need to move our fleet. Glasswood. So, yeah, we're gonna see one settlement on this turn. That's one. It might be one here. Yeah, Jerusalem. So, let's uh, travel up the Nile. Meet Egypt. We haven't met them yet, I think. Bithynia is alive. Bithynia! Thank you. Uh, did Pontus liberate you? No. 
the Rhodos liberate you? Sardis? I don't know. Perhaps they had a rebellion or something. I thought they were dead. I was quite sure. Uh, but Sardis is really taking over here. Same with Rhodos. No, not Rhodos. Who's got this? Cyprus. Shit! Cyprus and Sardis. Wow. So Sardis was really down here, I think. We have this one and over here, I think. Something like that in the, in the beginning where they start. But now they are here with... Okay. And Sardis and Cyprus are not friends because they are... Oops. I shouldn't turn that off. Uh, because they are um, satrapies of Egypt and uh, the Egypt and the Seleucid. Uh, we are going to trade with you. High probability, non aggression pact, high probability. Give me all of your money. Shh. They rejected. You have an honest face, even as you offer an honest bribe. Generosity is astounding, remarkable, and sadly unneeded. My lord cannot be bought like a camel. You are by me! My lord cannot be bought like a camel. I, I love you. I love this, guys. Epirus. Epirus is done. They have nothing. Nothing. Just like I predicted. We can't see the army. It's here somewhere. Army or fleet or whatever. Macedon, Sparta, and Athens, you guys rule. See, so Greek factions all the way. And Rome, of course. Oh, the Veneti have taken over. Shit. You guys in trouble or what? Look at that. I'm stronger than they are. Let's. I don't. I, I don't want a fucking defensive alliance or a military alliance for that sake. Uh, but I am going to take over Liguria and then Venezia for you. I am not taking this province. I do not want to fight Roman culture with my Greek. Then I will have to take over their entire lands. And no, no. Let's see. Uh, one fifty, two hundred, right? Yes. Plus 4% well from all sources. Uh, that's about it, actually. Uh, so we get 50 per turn plus 4%. That's quite a lot from all sources. That means from, from this, from this. Yeah. Yeah. We're. Ooh. That garrison, though. That is crazy. Let's go for it. How is your garrison right now? Fourteen. It's like it's its own army. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, we, we can't get a force march this turn, of course. God damn it, guy. Buddy. Buddy. Ah, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Yeah, whatever. There. Offline. Ba bow Okay. I'll end the turn. Bye. I see you soon. Alright, guys. Welcome back. It's a uh, long way for me, but not for you. Liguria's gotten peace with the Helveti tribe. So they do not want to fight these guys anymore. That sucks for us. Uh, but now we're going to use our agent again. So this guy is probably going to reinforce the city. Just to check. We can attack him. So we, we can go through the, the red area. But not like this, right? Like this. Good to know. This is valuable information, guys. Write it down. It's gonna be on the test. So, 
I want some more cavalry before I go to war with these dirty barbarians. And I want one more uh, archer. That's it. Faction encountered. Variety. We don't have the growth yet. It's going to come next turn. Uh, so we're going to need to take over this next turn just to get the money for it. Um, wealth from commerce plus three corruption. Nope. We now have an unhappy populace because this is going up like crazy. Trade gain, military unit training, that is great. Wet summer. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Wet summer, minus morale, so no, we're not. We're not attacking this turn. It's kind of important. God damn it. War declared. Oh, okay. So I'm like, nah, we're, we don't want to fight you. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're fighting. Fools. Ah, we can't do anything like that. So let's just place our girl right here. So we can see Erithan. Erithan. Is there anything we can do with the diplomacy tab? How friendly are you now? Uh, you... Plus two. Uh, and your military is inferior to ours, we might get an aggression pack. Good. Great. Who else do you have as friends? We, the Pictonus. So we can get an aggression pack. No? You don't, you don't. Oh, it's only plus three for that treaty. These guys don't play around. Adabachi. You got plus eight. Not like we can trade with you anyway, I'm not gonna. Well, if only just to keep the. Oh, you! You, my man! You're one. crude. faction. Alright, I'm gonna end the turn, and I will see you again on the other side. Okay. Come on. There we go. Ah, yes. Hero level up. He is now better, faster, stronger. He's Batman. He's not Batman, but... I wish. Uh, we can either go for the uh, plus 6%, additional 6%, not moving range. That is what I uh, want, or this one. Plus 10 percent percent chance of evading enemy agents. Um, because these, I'm not really using him like that. I'm not taking him out of the army to do stuff. So I think we're gonna go for the uh, the thing that benefits the the entire army, the entirety of the army. Get as close as you can, bitch. And then you attack. Let's take this guy first. Ooh! Why? Why am I not getting... Retreat? Yeah, you can attack him from there, right? No? Really? Such a cup stain. It's crazy. I hate you. There we go. No. Give me, but I. There. There we go. No. Get closer. Okay. okay. Now. Da -da -da -da. Fuck off. Nugget. Okay, so. What I should have been doing. What I should have done is what I'm going to do next turn if I am allowed. Uh, I'm going to go with one army, attack the settlement, put, put the siege on it, so this army cannot help, cannot reinforce this army. The only problem is that this army then is just going to retreat, and then i got to follow it, and yada yada yada. You can make a spy network. Make me safe. So, we're getting plus one. That's great because these guys are just still in the uh, province. 
that's great. Now we got this. I don't think we have enough money to do anything, so uh, we're not gonna expand or develop the land yet. Uh, if we do, we have a chance of growing slumps, and we don't like slumps. So, we have met Egypt. Hello. Hello, Poppy. Diopolis. So, let's go past Alexandria and over to... where is the city? Is it there? Okay. We'll just go there then. It's perfect. And we can end the turn again. Bam! Ah, oh, yes. Love, love. She's so good. Critical success chance. Ooh, plus 10% and solicit trader. Persuade. That is awesome. Okay, now they have more armies. We we just gotta do this. Go there. See? Yeah. Huh? Look at this. It's here, right? Continue siege. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh yes. We're gonna fight this battle just so we lose as little as possible. But it's gonna be food. Tiny guy, he's got a lot of allies. But we have more. And our guys are more experienced, and they have better base stats, and I shouldn't really lose a single unit. But you know, things happen. We, we'll see. I might just get over overzealous. Ah, uh, no. I want to see all. I want to see everything. Everything. Okay, where do I get my reinforcements? I get them down here. So, 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 so. You're on the top of the hill over here. Yeah. So, we're just gonna run around with our troops for a little bit. While the rest of them. Where do we want our cavalry? I don't think we're gonna run them down like that. Uh, there we go. Our archers need to be here. Can't get anywhere without the archers. So that should be it, right? There's nothing we need to defend here. No, there's nothing they need to defend. Nothing we need to attack. Start the battle. Get up in here. So the thing here is, um, the one company that we did see wasn't really relevant to the battle. It's just a general. Um, of course, a general can be the difference between winning and losing, but you... Not this time, man. You guys... I'm messing up my unit card thingy. Good. Good. So, we have three companies there, three companies there. Go over there in that forest thingy. Here we got a lot of archers, that's nice, that's always nice. Uh, you guys, I'm thinking I'll just run you guys up here, and then I do mean run, because as we have the numerical advantage, we can simply run. Okay, so this is where they deployed their army, which is always good for us, I guess. Get up. What are you guys doing? You're chilling. Get up in the slot. Fuck. God. Stop. So, place out the units. Three companies, the swordsman on the left flank. T 
two, so it's meant to reinforce the right flank. Arch is in the middle. General right here. But these guys have. What, what, why do you have influence? Oh. They have influence. Nice. You guys, you are awesome. We cannot go past here. This is the edge of the map right here. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but that means we cannot be flanked on this side, which is good. We appreciate not being flanked. Come up with the cavalry. You guys don't get killed. Please. So we're just gonna move our, our units up. There we go, you two. Stay on that side. You three. Stay on this side. Commander right here and archers and the middle. So that's kind of... You guys not running? Yes you are. You gotta just slow. They're running, they're just not very good at it. You guys are still fresh. You're fresh. So let's place you in the same bush. And speed this whole process up. You guys come here. I'm not gonna move the the rest of the army before you guys come up. Because that would be stupid. The fish to pad. And then we have the rest of the spearmen. And we have the rest of the peltest. I don't know where I put this guy. You are right there. So let's just clunk them together like that. And together like that. Um, <clears throat> you guys are gonna protect my rear flank this side right here here before we start moving out. I don't think they have seen this guy and that is a spearman it's moving fast that way like towards the place where my guys came in. Yeah that's good. Uh, active active consolidate the troops I think we're going to need to uh, cancel the, or not cancel anything. We're going to need to pause the recording here and uh, continue on in, in the next episode. Because this episode got way longer than I thought. And this is going to take a while. It's a big map and a lot of units. and Yeah, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. This was episode 7. Alright, seven. I think it's seven. Thank you. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to come back, I guess. Bye.